This video is part of donning and doffing personal protective equipment, or PPE, for high consequence infectious diseases, or HCIDs. For doffing, refer to part two of this two-part video series. The type of PPE required for HCIDs is divided into two levels. Level one is for dry symptoms, such as fever, myalgia, and fatigue. And level two is for wet symptoms, such as diarrhea, vomiting, or bleeding. For how to don level one PPE, refer to the PPE video for combined contact, droplet, and airborne precautions. Preparation for donning PPE. All health workers required to wear HCID PPE must undergo training in donning and doffing and be deemed competent by a recognised trainer. They should wear a health uniform or surgical scrubs and closed-in shoes. Where possible, allocate a designated zone for donning PPE. To guide the process, use the donning checklist available from the CEC website. Ensure the following items are available. Thermometer and logbook. A rigid plastic stool or chair without arms that can be cleaned and disinfected. Fluid resistant below knee booties. Alcohol based hand rub. P2 or N95 respirator. Surgical hood with flange and adhesive tape. Inner gloves. Fluid resistant long sleeve gown. Face shield. Outer gloves with long cuff. Before donning, the health worker should ensure they are adequately hydrated and their toiletry needs are met. The use of a buddy system is preferred and recommended. The role of the buddy is to read out the steps, observe and assist if required. If a buddy is not available, then a printed copy of the donning checklist and a mirror can be used to assist in donning. Remove jewellery and ensure you are bare below the elbows. Perform a skin integrity check and then hand hygiene. If you have long hair, pull it back off the face and collar and ensure that if you have a fringe, it is clipped back off the face. Record your temperature in the logbook. Sit down on the plastic stool or chair and don the booties. Tuck excess pants into the booties to prevent it from slipping down. Tie the strap in a bow to prevent a trip hazard. Tying at the front facilitates easy removal. Now perform hand hygiene. Don a P2 or N95 respirator to cover nose and mouth.
perform a fit check immediately after donning the respirator. Breathe in and out to check that air is not escaping and the respirator fits you well. Health workers with spectacles may be required to secure it to prevent them from moving during doffing. Don the surgical hood. Make sure it covers the head, neck and shoulders. Secure the surgical hood with adhesive tape if required to ensure that it does not move into your field of vision. A buddy may be required to assist with this step. Perform hand hygiene. Don the inner gloves. If available, use long cuffed gloves. Open the gown and check the gown for any tears or holes. Don the impervious gown. Secure the gown at the back of your neck and around your waist. Tie at the side in a bow. Don the face shield. Ensure that the eye protection is fitted correctly and that there are no gaps between the surgical hood and the top of the face shield. Don the outer pair of gloves. These are to be long cuffed to ensure they cover the cuff of the gown sleeves. The gown's cuff may need to be pulled down to the palm of the hand to ensure adequate coverage. Sterile gloves can be worn if no non-sterile stock with a long cuff is available. Complete final checks before entering the patient room. Check for comfort by squatting, stretching and shaking your head. Having a buddy to write your name, role and time to the front of your gown will assist the patient with identifying who you are when in the room. Adding the time to the gown allows you to identify how long you have been in the PPE for. 
the health worker is ready to enter the room. Ensure you do not contaminate the gloves as you enter. You have now completed the steps for donning HCID PPE. For doffing, refer to part two of this two-part video series.